Hello, I'm Oscar Sedano, a program manager at Alaska Housing Finance Corporation, working with nonprofits to provide housing support for Alaskans in need. Hi, I am Jennifer Smirud, also a program manager at Alaska Housing Finance Corporation, and I staff the statewide homeless housing office. Supportive services includes items and services that support clients in achieving and maintaining housing stability. It's kind of a kitchen sink category where anything is allowable as long as it is reasonable and supports program goals. If an expense can be charged to one of the other categories, you may want to use those first. As always, supportive services costs must be directly tied to achieving and maintaining housing stability. Grantees often charge same as cash items such as gift cards or bus passes to this category. Those are allowable expenses, but make sure you can track the purchase and distribution of those items. Decide how these items are going to support your program goals. Have a plan for the purchase, distribution, and tracking of these same as cash items. You cannot possibly plan for every scenario. Have a policy that includes procedures for extraordinary circumstances. Make sure that you follow your plan and document why something unusual was approved. Keep track of your supporting documentation. Remember, if it's not documented, you might have to pay it back. Let's go through a few examples of items that might be allowable under this category. How about a bicycle? Yes, excellent for client transportation. What about an employee holiday party? Just for employees? No. It has to be an expense that is in direct support of client goals. How about snacks for group therapy? Yes. Food for clients is an allowable expense if it is in support of program goals. What about workman's comp insurance? No. That is not an allowable expense under this category. It should be charged to admin. A few things to keep in mind in order to navigate these programs successfully are to have strong policies and procedures, a good cost allocation plan that is regularly updated, and lots and lots and lots of documentation. This is a lot of information. All these budget line items can be confusing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. We're here to help you.